from historic Dillard University in New Orleans. This is Blue News. What's new to you? I'm Destiny Ross. And I'm Jaquiz Clinton. Thanks for joining us. Street flooding has become all too familiar to New Orleans residents. Sometimes no more than after a heavy rain, and Dillard University has its share of high waters. Now, a $5 million drainage project is underway on the Gentilly campus to help protect the university and the neighborhood. The FEMA-funded effort is designed to rapidly move storm runoff and collect it in a specially constructed detention pond. But while drainage improvements are welcome news on campus, the construction has presented its own share of problems, especially with parking. Kaylin Bass has more. I'm here with Adonis Woods, Director of Facilities Management, Adonis. Clearly there's a lot of construction going on on campus. How has that affected parking? Well, we understand that there's a huge concern about parking here on campus. So we've done some things to alleviate that. Um, we've built a 10,000 square foot uh, temporary parking facility right on the side of our Cook Center. Um, and we understand that as we proceed with construction in some areas, we're taking some of the parking offline. But as we finish those areas, we're bringing that parking back online. So, so those are things that we're doing on campus to um, help with that parking problem. So the seniors that are going to be graduating in May of 2018, how is that going to affect their graduation that's normally outside? Mm -hmm. Well, we are, we are we're planning this whole construction project as to not impact the, um, the graduation or, or the flow of graduation. So right now we work in areas outside of where the graduation would be, and we're saving those areas until the end of the project um, after May of 2018, where we'll be doing those projects uh, inside of the, uh, the Avenue of the Oaks in that area, more towards August to December. And what should students look forward to in 2018 when um, this construction is completed? That's a good one. I, I, I think um, the students are really going to enjoy the campus. Uh, we are we're, we're improving the streets. Uh, we're improving all the speed bumps. Uh, we're going to be doing some beautification uh, around campus. And so it's going to be a, a much better facility, and that's what we're really focused on, on okay. having. Protecting Dillard's historic buildings from flood damage is good news, but so is improved parking. Audience members at the Cook Theater welcome the world premiere of a new play, based on the life of New Orleans legend Marie Laveau. Dillard University English professor Carolyn Wistrand did extensive research on writing She Danced with the Redfish, which follows Marie from Young Catholic Bride to being involved in mystical African rituals in the pre-Civil War French Quarter. I've been fascinated with Marie Laveau for over 20 years. Her story as a free woman of color that was both beautiful, sensuous, and outside of the European restrictions as a free woman of color and yet chose to embrace African traditions. I think her story is different than all the other literature we have about women of color in the 19th century. Award winner David I.L. Poole directed She Danced with the Red Fish, which opened Dillard Theater's 82nd season. The university played host to another world premiere recently a documentary film chronicling the relationship between New Orleans Creoles of color and Dillard. Blue Orleans discusses Creole origins and the deep connections the community has with Dillard University. This project was to document black Creole culture here at Dillard. These mixed African descendant folks built America on their backs and knees, helped make New Orleans the beloved city it has become. New Orleans is so entrenched in me that I can never leave New Orleans. The community spills over into that, into the concept of Dillard. For all of its existence, Dillard University has educated or employed black Creoles since the end of enslavement to now. What has Dillard done in the, who's, who has Dillard educated? And what have they contributed to this culture, to this community here at Dillard University? And the result is we are creating a digital archives of all of these wonderful interviews. But Blue Orleans is the documentary that tells that story. Dillard professor Dr. Mona Lisa Saloy directed the film under a grant from the National Endowment for the Humanities. The university paid tribute to his longtime president, the late Dr. Samuel Du Bois Cook, at this year's Founders Day Convocation. Faculty, staff, family, and the class of 2018 gathered at Lawless Chapel for the ceremony, where Louisiana Representative Patrick O. Jefferson gave the keynote address and the Dillard Choir performed. Dr. Samuel Du Bois Cook was Dillard's fourth president and served the university for 23 years. 
Jalen joins us now. The Blue Devils open their season with a bang. That's right, Destiny. The Dilly University students and faculty and staff got into the Halloween festivities Tuesday, October 31st at the first basketball game. The Dilly Blue Devils took on William Carey University Crusaders at the battlefield for the first game. There were performances by the Royal Blues, DU Diamonds in the cheer squad during halftime. The Blue Devils led the score 55-45 during halftime. During the rest of the game, both teams went back and forth leading the score, but the Dilla Blue Devils took the win by winning 108-98. The DU family helped the Blue Devil basketball team send the Crusaders packing by ending with singing their alma mater. The final score again was 108-98. Great job, Blue Devils. Thanks, Jalen. While well, the university has new royalty, Malaysia Seals and Kyle Reeves were crowned Mr. and Ms. Dillard at a gala at the Downtown Civic Theater. They spoke to friends and family about their accomplishments and their upcoming plans for community service. We leave you now with scenes from this year's Dillard's Coronation. I'm Destiny Ross, and thanks for watching. And I'm Jaquiz Clinton. See you next time on Blue News. Sung a lot of songs I made some bad rhymes I've acted out my life on stages With 10,000 people watching But here we are And I'm singing this song to you I know your image of me Is what I hope to be Life's treating you 